Do you feel like you have too much swirling around in your head? Me too. Let's do journal brain dump. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a step-by-step -step on how to do a journal brain dump. There's really not much to it, but it's always fun to do something chill and to do something together, just step-by-step -step if you're feeling kind of stuck on what to do and how to just get all of those little thoughts out of your head. I'm looking at those perfectionists out there. A journal brain dump is not supposed to look pretty on your pretty little notebook. I have a pretty notebook as well. This is my notebook right here. It's beautiful, but inside it doesn't look pretty. Let me just tell you that. And a journal brain dump is very messy. It'll talk about a lot of different things. And the trick is to dump first and then tidy up later and figure out what you want to do with all of those thoughts. So that's the purpose of it. It'll hopefully leave you feeling refreshed and ready to tackle your day. If you're new here, my name is Bianca and I'm a content strategist and creator. I also love to incorporate these really fun wellness pieces because I know that a lot of business owners out there and a lot of freelancers and creatives, they often have a hard time balancing work and wellness. And so that's why I just love making this fun and safe space for you to just start creating and doing the best work that you can. So without further ado, let's get started. So you've got your lovely journal right here. If you don't have a journal, you can just take out a piece of paper, a post-it note, whatever whatever works for you. You know, it doesn't all have to be beautiful and, and nice, but any sort of pen and paper works. For journal dumps, I would recommend going for a pen and paper. I know that there are a lot of online journals out there, a lot of really great apps and whatnot, but for the purpose of a journal dump, I think it feels better to just do it on pen and paper and then taking those aspects and then putting it into your online platforms such as Notion or GoodNotes. I think that journal brain dumps are really, really good. There isn't a specific formula that you need to follow. Everyone is different. Some some people will do this monthly, some people will do this weekly, some people will do this daily. I feel like they're a little bit different than like to-do lists and whatnot, so it really just depends on how you want to work and how you want to organize your time. The best piece of advice, I think, is just to really go with what comes the most naturally to you. If you're thinking about doing a list just a list of just everything that you're thinking about, go ahead and do that. If you have a specific thought that you want to write down, you can do that. If you're more of a visual person and you kind of want to do a mind map, so let's say you want to have like your name in the middle and then you'll put little arrows of different things that you're thinking about, that's also great. So it really just depends on what comes most naturally to you. But if you're having trouble with figuring out what you want to write, I am going to give you a couple of journal prompts to help you get started. So the first journal prompt that I have for you is what have you been worrying about this week? So what are the things that have just been like annoying you and that you've been constantly thinking about? Those are the types of things that you want to write down. What are the tasks that never seem to get done? Or what are the little tasks that you've been putting off for a very long time? You can also put that on your list. Maybe you want to write down a step-by-step -step of your current routine and what you'd like to change in that routine. Maybe you want to go bigger picture and talk about bigger picture goals if you haven't had a chance to take a look at your goals. If you haven't had a chance to take a look at your goals, I would definitely recommend one of my videos that I created at the end of last year. So I'm going to link it right here on this video. So if ever you want to go check that out, you can definitely go check it out. And lastly, the last journal prompt that I'll give you, is there anything that's coming up soon, whether that be, you know, an event, whether that be a birthday, a vacation, whether that be a really big project at work that you've been putting off? Is there something that you need to prepare for and that you want to just write down everything for? Now that you've written down all of the aspects in your brain dump, if there are some things from your to-do list that you've put in your brain dump, make sure to put it in the right spot, whether that be your Google Calendar, your Notion, whatever you like to use, that you can take what you've written down and put them in the right spot so that it doesn't get lost if ever you're worried about writing it down on paper. This is a great exercise to do however many times that you like to do it because it really just puts things into perspective and reduces your stress and anxiety instead of it just bumbling around all over in your head. 
this is a great way to just clear your mind and make sure that everything is organized and in the right order. I guess what this means is that you gotta put all of your chaos on a paper so that you can rearrange it and make sense of it. This will allow you to free up some mental energy and put it towards other things that you've been wanting to do. Thank you so much for listening. If you found this helpful, make sure to check out any of my other business and creative content related videos that I have here on my channel. I also have some really great wellness resources and productivity resources that you can go check out. So I have my five minute meditation and a 30 minute Pomodoro. Thank you so much for listening and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.